Well, who said T20 is a young man for just two days? into the 2016 WT20 and already it's the golden oldies who are stealing the show. On day two, it was the turn of Shahid Afridi and who else but Chris Gaines. In the first match of the day, Shahid Afridi under fire for his recent comments on India's love and his below par performances finally stepped up. His 19 ball 49 and also Ahmad Shahzad and Mohammad Hafiz's 95 run second wicket partnership helped Pakistan post a massive 201. Not much suspense from there on as they went on to beat Bangladesh by 55 runs. Next, the evening fixture. England knew they had the hands full despite West Indies travelling with a depleted squad for this World T20. Batting first, they posted 182. But then, uh, let's not say we didn't see this coming. Chris Gale happened. 11 sixes and 5 boundaries and lo and behold, we've got this World T20 first century. And all this for what? Chris Gale later explained he was just doing his part after Suleiman Ben said, entertain me. This though wasn't the only West Indies side that won a WT20 match on Wednesday. The women's team too opened with a win, a four-run victory over Pakistan. And finally to wrap things up, just the one WT20 match later today qualifies Afghanistan take on Sri Lanka in Kolkata. There's no update on Angelo Matthews' knee injury. A final decision will be made right before the game.